Hi everyone! So I'm going to share with you guys today how I put together my Chunky Charms. Now this video is called a Chunky Charm for my Chunky Friend. And that is because a lot of you guys have asked me to do this tutorial. But the first person that has really asked and asked me multiple times is my friend um, Pat. And she was the one that told me if I could make a video called a Chunky Charm for my Chunky Friend. So that's why this video is going to be titled that way. It's per her request. So we are going to definitely do that today. Finally, I think it's been forever that she's asked me to make this video. And let me show you guys what I'm working with here. This is the box from Dollar Tree. And then these beads all came from BB Crafts right here. So here is an example of a Chunky Charm that I did using a BB Craft bracelet, but I turned it into a Chunky Charm. So that's what this one looks like. And we'll put that there. And then here is the other one that I put together right here. So we'll lay this one over here so we're gonna go ahead and put one of these together and then i just have a bunch of beads in here that i've already wired wrapped and some are loose so this is what we're going to be using today i have my jump rings these again came from bb crafts they are part of that bracelet kit so are these lobster clasps and so is the head pin and then these came from a giant one pound bag of beads i'm obsessed you guys with this bag of beads that baby crafts has i definitely will be reordering that again once i'm out because it works so great for everything so the ones that we're going to put together are these right here i've separated it into colors because i wanted to do like a rainbow theme so i don't know how many links i'm gonna need so this is the chain that I'm going to use today, this is from Hobby Lobby. If you want to order it online, this is the number that you type into the website. And I'll go ahead and find this for you. Definitely get this one. Let me share with you guys. Okay, I had bought this from the ribbon section. Like, oh, it's half off. It's super cheap. Do not buy this. This is 100% iron. I could not pull this apart. I don't know what I was thinking. I thought like, oh, look at how thick it is. It's great. I couldn't cut it. I couldn't pull it apart. It was a mess don't don't get this one this is no good so i have no idea what i'm gonna do with those because i have it in gold and silver so this is actually from the jewelry section this one i recommend so let's see that would be a lot of links let's do maybe like 12 that still will be pretty long let's see so i'm gonna count out 12 links here So then I'm going to get my tools here and right down here is where it opens. So I'm going to go ahead and open the link here. Am I holding this right way? There it goes. You could cut this if you wanted to. You don't you don't have to open it the way that I am. I just don't like wasting products, so I don't cut them. I just it's just as easy to go ahead and open it and reclose it for me. So there's that. Cause can you imagine if I cut it, you know, every single time I wanted to use a little bit of chain? Like that would be a whole lot that I'm throwing away. So I just go ahead and open it instead of cutting it. Because once you cut it, you can't use that link anymore. So then I just use this to go ahead and reattach it. I'll do that later. You guys don't need to see me reclose that. So here's how I've been making my um, beads. I've been doing it like the easy way. So here is my head pin. I'm sorry, I still have glazed stuff from earlier project. Um, so this is my head pin. Here is my bead. I'm just going to go ahead and insert that there. Take my round nose pliers here. And I'm going to just twirl it on down. It's just quick and easy. And it looks cute. So that's all we do right there. You see how it's wire wrapped right here. I think it looks cute. And it's super easy. Easier than, you know, the other wire wrapping technique. 
So, um, yeah, I'm going to put my lobster clasps on now. You could do it at the beginning or at the end. It's just up to you, whatever you would like to do. So here is our jump ring. Let's go ahead and open this on up here. Well, I should have opened up my my little baggie to get my lobster clasp out. Let's get this open here. Okay. So now that we have all of this together, let's go ahead and we're going to string this on and then we are going to get our chain. Go ahead and string that on. And we are going to close this on up. So there we have our chain. So let's go ahead and get to work here. So I'm going to take my jump ring here and open it on up. Um, what are we going to start with? I should probably put these in order of how I want them to go. Let's see. Let's start with, let's start with the like orangey one at the bottom here. So I'm going, since these are a little bit larger jump rings, I'm going to go ahead and stick two onto one jump ring. Go to my bottom link. And we are going to go ahead and close that. So there we have that. Then I'm going to take my next jump ring. Now when I do these, I usually will have this hanging. Um, it just makes it a little bit easier to go ahead and put it all together. So like, you know, um, like a jewelry hanger or, you know, like even like, you know, the little like banana hooks for your kitchen. You can go ahead and use that as well as a little point to go ahead and hang your charm. And then it, it just looks nice because then you can see it like dangling, you know, and you can see where you want to put your next charms at. So I have those two right there. So here are my next two on my jump ring. So I'm going to go to the next link up and I'm going to go ahead and string those on. So now we have something looking like this. And I'm going to get my next jump ring. Oops, drop that. Get our next jump ring here. There we go. Oh my goodness, I dropped it. Like I swear, when I do videos, I feel like I'm all thumbs like, I don't know, like I've been doing this for almost a year already and I still get nervous. <laughs> I'm like, is that weird? I still feel like, you know, I get nervous, like I'm going to make mistakes and, you know, they're going to see and, you know, this doesn't happen normally. And yeah, I just get in my head about it. Okay, so here we have... Let's see, this is why it's easier when it's hanging up. So here we have the two on the bottom in this loop. And then here is the jumping over to the right. So I'm going to go on that same second link, but I'm going to put it on the left side. Like that. Then I'm going to go ahead and close this off. And then here is what it looks like so far. So we have... The two that's hanging off the main bottom one. And then on the second link, we have two on one jump ring hanging off to the right. And then two charms on one jump ring hanging off to the left. So right now we have a total of six little bead charms hanging on there. 
So that's what that looks like. And then if you wanted to put like a little centerpiece, like this is my centerpiece, you just put that on the bottom of the last little link and do it like that. But I don't have anything right now at the moment that I'm going to be hanging off the middle. So I'm just going to go ahead and build it up this way. So I'm going to go ahead and let me just speed this part of the video up so that way you know you don't have to watch me do this because it's gonna be a very very long video if I just did it all in real time so let me go ahead and speed up the video and we'll be right back
Okay, sorry this video got so dark. My phone is running out of battery, so the flash won't turn on right now. But this is what it came out looking like. This is the chunkiest one that I have ever made. And I'm so happy that you guys got to see it with me. So I went for the whole rainbow thing of doing all these different colors. But the purple got kind of lost in here. I should have done more purple beads. But it's okay. It still came out very, very cool and very thick and chunky monkey. So here is the rainbow one that I just did with you guys. Here is the other Christmas ones. Now these Christmas ones do have a lot less beads on there. And some of these, because they were longer, um, I didn't put two on one jump ring. Some of them are just one and then some of them are two. On this one, I did two on every jump ring and then some I even threw three on there. So this one came out a lot thicker and chunkier. So it just kind of depends on the look that you want to go for. You know, how many beads you want to add on, how many you don't. See, like on this one, I left the bottom links blank. You see, so because I knew I wanted this to be like the main piece, I left some of them blank and then started up here. So I left one, two, three, four. So on the fifth one is when I started putting the beads on. And then you can kind of see how it goes from there. Where on this one, I started on the very bottom link and did every single one all the way up until the lobster clasp. So like I said, it just kind of depends on the look you want to go for. This one, I really wanted the charm to stand out and dangle on its own. So that's why I left so many links empty compared to this one where i wanted to be super chunky monkey and that's why i went with this look right here so that's what they look like that's how i go ahead and i put them together i start at the bottom work my way up like i said i'll put one bead two even three on this one it kind of just depends on the look that you're going for so i hope this helped you guys see how i go ahead and put these together if you guys have any questions definitely leave it down below in the comments if you have any video requests you can definitely leave that down below in the comment section as well i hope you guys are having a fabulous day thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time bye guys